Hello everybody, Andrew Wild, and we are back once again with a Space Engineers ship build video. We are back again. It has been a while since the last one. I, I took an entire week off, went to Florida, and it's taken me a minute to figure out, oh wow, we got an asteroid in the way. It's taken me a minute to remember how I was going to do this ship, and I remember how we're doing it now. We are basically building what is going to be known as the Obsidian Bounty. A ship that's going to use our Graboid Miner in MCR and Colors. And we're going to build an asymmetrical ship that doesn't adhere to many rules. Not symmetrical at all. Not symmetrical at all. And we're going to currently... I am starting on the engineering portion of the ship, which I believe I've gotten done to an extent. However, there are some things I'd like to change. Um... Going back and looking at this, I realized we need to be able to work on these pipes. Should something ever happen, I need to be able to, to work on these pipes and operate on them just to fix any small problems. So, first things first, pull out the tab button here. And we're going to find this because one of the things I also noticed was I have a gap here and if I add if I make the change that I'm going to make here in a minute this is not going to function properly so let's see the change that I'm currently going to make here is I want to take these sections out I need to Currently, right now, what I need to do is I need to figure out how to... I'm working right now without activating the... Uh, how do I put this? <laughs> Currently, I am doing this without turning on the mirror function. So it's, it's taking a little longer to build this because I want it to be... I want to run this as asymmetrically as possible. Let's go to number seven. And we have this, but what I want to do right here, since we aren't really going to need to fix on the reactor because we have access over here. We made sure we have reactor access here. I don't need reactor access there. I just need a four door block or something yeah, like this. I need the yeah, I need this access. Spin there. There we go. That's what we need right there. And what this will do is this will give me an area where I can actually access the... Or well, where I can actually access these pipes as they come through. Because what's ultimately going to happen is I'm going to have these uh, pipe accesses coming across... And I'm going to try and hook in our four large cargo containers so that we can commence. We can pull in some equipment and then we're going to have a couple of these uh, refineries set up. I may set up more than one. Just run an area through here. Maybe set some kind of block or two here that we can access and do something with. The players can have, uh, y'all y'all can have a little bit of fun with it. But I like this concept here of well, let's kick the lights on real quick so everybody can see. I like the concept of having these be a just a corridor that can give access to different levels of the ship. That's what we're gonna do with that. But right now we've got to get these um, blocks to where I can access them. I've also got access down here to. Uh, the batteries, which we have access to at the moment. As you can see, we can access the batteries here through these two corridors. And I like these wires on the floor instead of on the top, so it makes it look more industrial. We've got that going on for us. We also have a basement area we're going to be able to go into at some point. And I have access going over here into the reactor area. So it's going to be a very tightly 
spaced ship. This is not meant to be. It's not meant to be a roomy ship. <laughs> We're gonna have a whole lot of room to operate in. We have that not going for us. But going back here. We're gonna go to number two. And the only problem I'm gonna see here, real quick. is access to this, um, to these blocks here. That's the only real problem I'm running into, because I need these conveyor blocks to go the length of the ship. So first off, right now, let me find the conveyor block that I want. I'll do this one. And... We're going to run this the full length to here, just because I want to. And then I want to run this the full length. Over to here. Now, I have these under areas that I built, but I don't think we are going to need this because I don't know what kind of access we're going to have to. I could I could make an access port there. Or honestly, I could just make an access port underneath this thing and cover that up. That would be an interesting way of doing that as well. Those that are wondering, yes, I am just checking this thing out from all angles. Um, we've got this undercarriage area. I'm not sure what we would do with that. I don't really know. I don't really know what we would do with that. Underneath there. I do know that I need to set this thing up a certain way. So I can put these uh, odds on the side here as well, because four of those are, are more than enough for one large hydrogen thruster, which is what we're using, and then we'll be using ion to move the ship around, so I don't need to worry about that for the moment. So we've got that going for us here. I can just set some blocks in and cover all that up. But it looks like I'm probably also going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Uh, let's see, uh, where is, because I, I just realized, I need a block here. There we go. Because I, I realized, looking at this, I needed a block down here to hook the oxygen up to. That's what I can put in that room. That's what I can put in that room. Oxygen tanks. That's what I can put in there. Oxygen tanks. I need the oxygen in there somewhere. And I want to try and make everything as easy as easy to work on as possible so I can find a place to work on something. All right, so next thing I got to figure out here. Oh, yeah, we have a problem. Um, hmm. <laughs> Turns out I don't have this thing sealed off here. That's that's going to be interesting because I can't seal this area off. That's making life difficult real fast. Okay, uh, we'll figure out what we need to seal off later after we get this thing done to an extent. Okay, so the way these are set up, I'm going to have a block on top and a block on bottom that I could work with. All right. So, 
see if I can figure something out here. We have oxygen hooked up to the airlock system. I may just completely enclose that area around the reactor just so that we can reach that. But like I said, we've got movement to where we can work on the reactor if we have to, and we can walk clean through to the next room. That's not a problem. Or at least to the um, this room in here where we have our jump drives located, which can be worked on easily. Then we got to go to this room. And I'm thinking for this area, this might be where we set up the oxygen and hydrogen. That could be easily done like this. So this is our hydrogen or our, our H2O2 generators here. We'll put two of them in. And then number eight. Not all of this is going to be totally asymmetrical. Right now, I am just adding our oxygen tanks and stuff right here, so we've got some place to you know get on them and work on them at. We've got all that, and we have this corridor, which I can flip around and make work to an extent. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This just kind of turns engineering into semi-symmetrical, and then once engineering is done, I can then shove all that together here and we'll start working our way down. I don't know if I want to put the refineries. I'm going to have to do something with the refineries because I can't just put them right there. I'm going to have to enclose them and I'm also going to have to set up a system around the side. Probably a series of catwalks. There may be a, a cheap way I can get around that. Hang on, let me let me experiment with something here. I think I can get away with enclosing them entirely. And still only have to do one or two corridor blocks around. Let me check something. Let's see. Modules. Where's the modules? We'll just grab a module here. Okay, so... I think a yield module is what we're going to want on here. Instead of putting them in like this, I want to install them like this. And I think that will still work. Yeah, there we go. So then all I have to do is I just need a corridor that I just need a corridor block that I can send around this way like so and then as that comes down here Yeah, that's all I need. And then the second corridor block can be just that. And then lo and behold, there we go. We can then wrap both of these corridors around here, which will then give us easy access to the refineries. I can probably put one more refinery on just to be a, a, a jerk. And this reactor system serves now as the core of the entire ship. So, <laughs> it's, it's going to serve for getting up and down and moving around the entire area, just a core of reactors. Or refineries, my bad, sorry. <laughs> so, let's put a passage in here. We'll do one lighted passage, one regular passage. And then... Where's our refinery at? Because now, now is when the refinery is going to have to be installed. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Actually, before we install that, let me install one of these. 
and then I will have the access to go around and do what I need to do. And then my refineries. All right, number six, refinery. All right, here's the refinery we need. Uh, for argument's sake, I'm going to have to put a few blocks down here. To put it exactly where I want it to go. All right. Now, I can go to here or there. All right, let's see how this works out. Okay, so, no, that's not going to work because I don't have the heel in the way. All right, there we go. So now, get through here. Yes, we can, <laughs> to an extent. Almost, we can make it, to an extent. Okay, it's, it's a little tight, it's a little tight. I may have to take this and do something with it. Uh, but other than that, we have access here. We don't have, we're not gonna need access down there, so I may, I may fix that down there and reconfigure this a bit so it's easier to get around in. Because we also need to get around these blocks here. Now, the other problem that I'm running into is I need to be able to get down here, and then I can use this to enter another corridor here at the bottom. Let's uh, go through our corridor blocks real quick. Now, the only other problem I can see myself running into here is this here. Because one of the things I am wanting to do here is have a means to access... See, we're going to have the refineries here in the central part of the ship. Storage is going to be on this side, so that's where the hydrogen and crap is going to go. Hydrogen and all of our... Uh, storage containers are going to go. <clears throat> and our docking bay for our miners is going to go over here. Now, I need... I honestly need this pipe here, down here, running across. Yeah, the length of the ship here. And then probably some pipe going over and connecting into that. Problem here, how much how much room do I have? I'm still going to have to put this in and still have our pipe. Still have this coming over, so we're going to have to probably do some kind of jerry rigging and finagling here. So all this is just not necessary at the moment. Really, really not necessary here, especially. Um, enable this for the moment. All right, that's done. I need to do this on the other side as well. Because, folks, this is what happens. Your brain comes up with a couple of options. One of the, one of the reasons why I'm doing this is because I need the ship I, I need my docking bay here. And if I... I can pull a pipe off here, downward, and then connect it into a wall pipe, and then run this along the bottom so that I have access to my piping here. But because the... Um, this here, it's going to be one up. So at one up, the loading bay, or at least the 
Uh, what is it? What is word? The connector is going to have to be down here so that you can jump right across from here onto the miner right in there. If you get what I'm saying. So if this is connected there, we have a problem. <laughs> there's, there's just a problem there. And I've also got to still figure out how to connect some guns to this. I think we're only going to go with a two turret system. So we don't have to worry about all the other stuff. And another thing also is I think I may want to use regular pipe here. We'll, we'll add this in. I don't want to use. There's this. I like this block. I didn't realize it, but this block actually has some attachments to it where you can actually access some things, which is nice, I have to admit. Uh, may do something here. We, we are going to have to pull out and then pull forward and connect. So I may just set that right there for some reason, just so you've got access somewhere on the ship. Or I may set it up as an access point somewhere else. I just do it right here, actually. <clears throat> uh, oh, it's a sorter. Okay, so never mind. We're going to put this somewhere else. <laughs> for those of you that are wondering, we're going to put that somewhere else. Um, and I need a T-junction right here, actually. So we'll put a, we'll a T-junction here. But I do need to set a sorter up somewhere. I need to figure out where that sorter is going to go. And this has also got to all be hooked into itself. So I don't have any other problems. I say, no, it's not there. I want to say that the connection, is, yeah, it's right here. This is the connection for this. So... I need this thing's going to connect like I want it to. And I am still going to have the ability because even now I don't have the ability to run around and assess this area. I'm not going to be able to work on one of these where this oxygen is at. Here's what we'll do. We will uh, disconnect this because really that's not helping us at the moment. We don't have a connection there to connect into. We'll figure out how to do the oxygen right later. Uh, I'm going to have to hook this up somehow to the rest of it. But let's go ahead and just finish up this section here. I want to finish up this real fast. Because we are going to need... I thought I pushed number six there. Okay. Number six, number one. So you see right there, we've got a two to two point. I don't really think we need that. They're that close. We're just going to shove that there. We do this out to about, I don't know, maybe four. Where this needs to go. Yeah, about four, probably. But we can process materials very quickly. That's going to be a very large reactor ship, but we make do now. Number eight. I think the best thing on here would be yield modules. Because... That will just increase the refineries. All right, so there you go. You've got that increasing there. Let's try to make this look a little more 
interesting here. <laughs> Wanted to look a little better. There we go. Do do do. There. Now we run this corridor through here. We're gonna be able to see the pipes going down in there as we look into it. Figure out what we're gonna do. So now we have this nice actor zone here. That takes us in. We've got this nice reactor corridor as you come through the ship. You're going to be able to hop over into this and come running through here and see all the reactors. You're also going to have the ability to get downstairs to the lower level, which should give us access to a bunch of other things. Now, the next thing I need, the next thing I need is this, a number seven. I can push that there and that should or could hmm problem is this thing I, I want to use all the space on this that I can get I probably will just put two speed mods on this thing and be done with it but I kind of want we connect it up here. The problem is connecting it there and having a connection over to the rest of the ship. Well, that's that's going to be a very interesting way of doing things. Or I can just connect it down here and be done with it. Hmm. Problems, problems, problems. Figuring things out. I, I hope King put, improves some more of these blocks. I do like the improved blocks. I just don't know how to use them half the time. Okay, so we're going to have this here. And I'm going to be able to work on this. On these two areas. So... The problem is I want to try and bring it up here so that I can work on. I'd like to be able to to put all three things on there just just for aesthetics purposes. We'll just do that. They'll be able to come in, operate and mess around with this thing or. This is annoying. <laughs> this is really annoying. I'm not going to lie. It's very annoying. Oh, wait, I know what I can do. <laughs> I know exactly what I can do. Let me look here. Do 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 do. Get a corridor block here. Spin that joker around. And then I can add a Let's see. I can add this very large layer here. And then add that conveyor, I believe. Oh, wait. Ragged. Because I still need to be able to get through here. Again, this game has to be a pain in my butt. Okay. We're just going to add the extra connection. <laughs> That's all I'm going to do. One... And then two, three. That's just going to increase the connection a bit right there. And I need... Where is it? Number five. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can... Get there, there, and there. 
so that I can start back here, get number seven refinery out or assembler out here. That that right in there. My only gripe is that this is going to be very long. It's not going to be the tight corridors that I was wanting. Oh well. There's another problem. Actually, I have a better idea. Let's do this instead. Alright. I can put a ladder in there. I think. Can I put a ladder in there? Yeah, yeah, I can. Um, where's the ladder? See, I like this ladder, but the problem is, hmm. It's going to be a pain to try and come up in. And I don't know how that's going to give me better access around the side of this thing. Unless I put it right here. Which then at that point. Yeah, this might work. No, it won't work. Well, no, it won't work. It's not going to work. Uh, I need this particular ladder. Be like in the side here where I can get around and move. Actually, no, I don't I don't need that ladder there because let me check something here. Let's see if I can do that or not. I won't be able to. Nope, I can walk through it. Okay. So I only need this to extend out just one. See, we're figuring things out, folks. We're figuring things out. Spin that around to there. I could then add something here if I wanted. Now the problem that we had before, though, is I have to be able to access that. Hmm. And I want a two-way access to this thing. Somehow. Uh, it's not easy. Just not easy. <laughs> the game's just not making this easy for me right now. Hmm. Let me see here. I may just have no choice. I may just have to bite the bullet. Because I, I'm... Mostly, I'm just stuck here trying to figure out how to implement this. Okay, we're probably only going to put two yield modules on this. On that one and that one alone. And then I will probably... Yeah, let's do that. Uh, eight. Our efficiency will do... 
Speed module one, speed module two. Now the thing is, I can shove one of these on here like this, but I have this sneaking suspicion. Yeah, the module will only half work. So I'll only get half of a module, even if I put it on there. So this is just so I can rapidly build all the stuff I need in one assembler. So any materials we might need, they'll be built in this thing. That assembler there. The other thing I was thinking... Hmm. I just had a really bad idea. <laughs> a really bad idea for power generation on the ship, because I don't want it to be overpowered. A nuclear reactor is, is really overpowered, as well as having hydrogen engines. This thing's supposed to operate in just space. I kind of want to make it pure ion and reconfigure that back engine area. Let me, let me look at power generation here. I got an idea from one of the... Okay. Let's see what the output of one of these is. I forgot. I haven't used them in so long. Okay, hydrogen engine. Max output is 5 megawatts an hour. What is the... 32 megawatts will be required for that. Uh, and each refinery... Max required out input is 560 kilowatts. So, I could give this thing a large supply of hydrogen. I just don't know how long it would take it to drain a hydrogen tank. I'll have to check that out. If that works, if, if it's not a big drain... on a large hydrogen tank, then uh, this whole back section here will probably get reconfigured into a hydrogen generator plant. Like an old, we're talking like an old, old diesel powered ship with a series of diesel generators in there. Running the ship like that. Yeah, that's a great idea. We should do that. I, sh I should do that. Because that will be the that will be the way to go right there, with all the batteries we got, with the the power generation, the way we're running it, and then having our, and then I'll run everything on the side. We can run this thing with a decent size uh, set of hydrogen tanks and run it on four generators, which would give us twenty megawatts of power, which is a lot. I'm not gonna lie. So this require the jump drives only require three megawatts worth of power. So balance this thing out. I believe each one of these uh, batteries requires about holds about three. No, they hold twelve. So we actually have power in the batteries. We just need, yeah, we got all the power we need in just these batteries here. We don't need the nuclear reactor. We could run this ship on almost pure hydrogen. And I could convert this back area into just a large power generation station. I may have to remove, I may have to remove, move some things and move some stuff around. Two of these is going to give us 10 megawatts an hour. 
If I had... If I put them in a line... Hmm. I don't know. It is something to think about, because I've got the room back here, I think. Yeah, I've got the room. I would just have to... store them like so. And without this in the way, I could actually get them closer together. And... I could then set a button in here somewhere to turn them on and off. And then it's just a matter of hooking them up. If I have to, I can extend this back out a little bit more because I can put a large ion thruster in the back here. Or even two ion thrusters kind of offset. And then add two ion thrusters to the front of this thing so we can move it, get it going. That would be interesting to do right there. That would be kind of interesting. Using a hydrogen-powered ship with hydrogen generators, that would be kind of interesting because hydrogen generators would be cheaper to produce. They would be less expensive. And for a civilian freighter that goes around, you know, just picking stuff up, that makes a lot of sense. Just storing a lot of liquid gas into a bunch of tanks and then operating your... Because the ships aren't going to pull that much off a large tank like that and then we could set up a series of tanks just to hook into this thing and just power up and then you don't have to worry about power generation I gotta see what one of these does what the drain of one of these is on a large hydrogen tank we may have to double up the hydrogen tanks have uh, eight of them maybe or so I don't know I may, I may plug this up it may not do half the damage to the one of them may not do any damage at all. But that's something we'll have to consider till then. But I have reached the 30 I passed the 30 minute mark actually. I've I've reached kind of the limit of what this thing can become now. So we're probably gonna probably gonna hop on out here. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this, watching this thing get built. Uh it's 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 interesting pulling off these kind of weird builds and everything, building a, a refinery ship for you guys. Um, kind of pulling the four refineries. Tell me if you guys think four refineries is too much. Uh, if it's too much, I'll take them. I'll, I'll knock them down a bit, and we'll try to balance the ship a little more. I want it to be balanced, but we've got a good amount of battery power, enough to recharge the jump drives if we need to. We're going to have, at the very least, I want four cargo containers, and I want them external on the ship. I want them to be externally stored, not in the ship. I want them external, so we don't have to. So if there's repair that needs to be done, we will go out there and repair it. Uh, the only other thing I can think of here is I would like to build a bay somewhere on this ship where we could drop a small repair ship in, and I'll have to figure out how to build one of those or just regular parts. And we'll probably do that with a similar design to the to uh the graboid here. Just so we could just so we can just build the same thing over. You just have to swap scripts. That's all you'd have to do. Is just put a different script on and then run it like that. By the way folks, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. It's always nice to see the channel grow. I am Badger Wild. Things stay frosty, stay safe. I am tired. <laughs> And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.